What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Mr. Raw. Over here at Raw Customs. Representing New Era Car Club. Okay. Today, what I got going on. I'm back at the voltage. I'm back here at the battery bank. And I'm trying to beef up my voltage. And, uh... See, can I... Give me some real good power flow going to back here. So, today what I'm going to do is. I'm going to do some redoing on my. The way I parallel my. Wires here. Jumping them across from battery to battery. I'm going to redo all that. And I'm going to run me two, grind, two, two runs of power. To the front of the vehicle. To the alternator. Using this wire I got here, I got in zero gauge. Okay, also the jumps, the run, the what I'm using to go across parallel in the batteries. See, I'm doubling that up. See, with the zero gauge, I'm gonna run two, two, two runs over there from battery to battery to try to beef that up over here. I'm recycling a little wire. I ran out of black. So I had some blue from my last bill. Hey, you won't see it, it'll be behind the wall. So I thought I'd use it. I just needed a few. So I did it like that. Oh, it's okay, little doggy. Patch. Patch. Shh. It's alright. Stop barking at people. Okay. Now. I like to send a shout out to Stinky Armpit Bass. Check his YouTube channel out. I got some good information from him. Checking out, scrolling through his video. This right here is almost look like Toolmaker, huh? Something similar, but it's not Toolmaker. This is actually a little zero gauge. Two in aluminum block with a hole drilled in it. It was actually about a five sixteenth hole, I think, drilled in it. But I drilled it out to a three eight hole so it fit down over, you know, my battery and my back, my battery studs. I picked this up right here at the local. Lowe's home improvement you get two of them in the pack guess what check this price out for only four dollars that's right you get two of these bad babies here for only four dollars versus if you go buy the two maker not saying the two maker ain't good I never own one but like I say, hey, I'm trying to do this thing on a budget. So I don't have all these sponsors and people giving me stuff. You know, I get a little help here or there, you know, from my friends. But, you know what I'm saying? I just decided to go with this here. And uh, actually, I have some on my battery in the front of the vehicle already and they working great I ain't had no problems out of it like I say look here look at that you run that wire through there you run that wire through there right there screw it down like right there it ain't going nowhere so now I got me a nice nice little connection here so I'm gonna put these on and uh, run my wire my zero gauge wire and stuff to try to beef it up like I say to beef up my power um, yeah so that's what I got today that's what I'm doing so of course when I get through I'll cut you back on 
But uh, yeah, let me tell you this right quick too also about these things. Now, I can actually plug these into my amp as well. But what you will have to do is saw this down right here. Saw that off and cut it across here. And then you'll just have that little one little piece of tab in there. So, if you decided to go into your amps, maybe. See what I'm saying? You put that up in there like that. And you'll have your dual runs. Now, I've thought about it, doing it like that. I don't know. It might be something I'll come back later on and do. But, uh, because uh, actually when I was down there at Lowe's, I bought all the ones that they had, actually. So they did right. I got lucky. I had, they had just enough that I needed. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, that might be something I might come back later and do. It depends on how I feel like I want to shoot some more power to the amp. But right now, I'm just trying to beat that battery bank up and get it right. That one run, a zero gauge, ought to be sufficient for the amp. But, hey, you can always beat things up. So, let me get to it. I'll cut y'all back. No. As you can see, I'm coming through. I'm at the bottom of the truck. And I'm running these power wires, two runs, to the alternator up front. I got the one wire already ran. I'm in the process now. I'm about to run the second wire up through here. Trying to make sure I, when I put this wire up, I'm staying away from anything that might be moving, pinching, like the spring, stuff like that. Anything that may be moving, anything, trying to keep it close to the frame as I can. All the way up to the alternator. I gotta pull all that. Run all that up through there. And zip tie it. Zip tie everything off real nice and neat. And, uh, yep, that's what I have. So, let me get at it, y'all. Okay, I'm going back together with my pieces that I made. You know? Uh, down there and stuff. You know, y'all know a different color. That's for the ground, but I, I was recycling wire because I ran out, so I went ahead and recycled, you know, what I had. And so I'm going across. And as you see, it looks real good and clean. I like the way it looks, man. You know, with those little blocks on it and stuff. So. Let me finish putting this on. As you can see, I'm tightening on down pretty good because I don't want that last, what happened last time to happen again. So I'm tightening on down this time. Huh? That's it. That's what I got. I'll bring it back with some more. Okay. I'm using this here Loctite Blue Medium Spring. Put it inside these nuts because of the lugs being so thick, I wasn't able to use these wing nuts, and I also wasn't able to get the lock washers on to go, you know, with it to stop it from backing up. So I'm hoping and praying that this Permatex Blue, which costs $6.99 at the Advanced Auto, do the job and won't let these nuts back off. I'm saturating these things pretty good to make sure you probably can see it in there. Mm -hmm. To try to make sure that they don't back off. Some have lock washers, some don't. Like mainly two of them. Two of them really don't have lock washers. And that is this one right here it's because I had more connectors I had to put like two amp connectors onto that one with the rings and this one over here which I also have about three more connectors and this one right here is actually got 
the three batteries connectors and also the uh, one that goes to this amp right here on the side so <coughs> I wasn't able to get the lock on that one so hopefully this works real good uh, of course if it don't I'll let you know about it I'll find out tomorrow when I get to turning this thing up okay